Exponential notation. Exponential notation. Um, you've been working on a while, but what, now what we're going to do is mix all of the rules you've been thinking about from Algebra 1 and even from middle school all together in one. Um, and here's the trick is it mixes fractions and square roots and negatives, which are basically all of your most hated thing. My best suggestion is get yourself a set of flashcards and just do these as flashcards. I think they'll help if you do. Um, just go over with flashcards and give your brain some time to think about it. When we have a negative exponent, m to the power negative 3, that drops that variable to the bottom of a fraction. m to the negative 3 is the same as 1 over m to the third. We put a 1 just as a placeholder on the top. We know that m to the third has to go to the bottom, and we just have to put something on the top, so we put a 1. m to the power 1 fourth, however, now we have a fraction in the exponent. That leads us to a root. m is to the first power, and it is the fourth root of m. This is m to the 1 fourth is the same as saying the fourth root of m. This one up here is optional. Not wrong, usually not written. Also in the quiz, you have to work the other direction. Given an equation like this, you need to write it in exponential notation. You should recognize that this one looks very similar to this one. Right? So, I'm going to do the same thing with the m. I'm going to make that m to the negative 2. We just have to figure out what to do with the 5. That 5 is to the first power. It's on the top. It's happy. It's just going to be in front of the variable. We could have also written a 1 in front of this variable, and it wouldn't really have changed the problem at all. Right? Invisible 1's in the front. All right, next one. This one is also a similar problem. Again, this m, we are going to put it to a negative power, but negative what? Well, the variable here is 1, so it's negative first power. You can write the 1 on there or not, it's the same. All right, and the last one we're going to do today in this set of examples is m to the negative 2 7 This is mixing both of these earlier problems. We have the negative going on, like this problem, which means we're going to put it in the bottom of a fraction. And we have the fraction going on, which means we're going to have a root. So, I know because of the negative, I'm in the bottom of a fraction. I know because of the fraction in the exponent, I have a root. m, this is a seventh root, and m is being squared. So, because of the negative, we're in the bottom of a fraction. Because of the fraction in the exponent, we have a square root. So this is m squared, and the seventh root of m squared. Again, your best shot is to make flashcards. Put this on one side of the flashcard and that on the other. Put this on one side of the flashcard and that on the other side. And then make yourself go back and forth and back and forth. Keep practicing.